Hey folks, Interviewer Jones coming to you not quite live, but there's no second take, so it's as close as you're going to get. Today we're looking at Running Snails uh, Emergency Multi-Crank Radio. This thing has a pretty nifty amount of options. Now this is kind of an upgrade, and but slightly different features than another Running Snail Radio that I did recently. You can look that up on my profile and check that out. But it is designed to work outdoor. Uh, comes in a nice box, comes with a USB charging cable for the built-in battery, and uh, it actually comes with a set of instructions that are fairly robust and, and walk you through the steps. So I'm going to show you real quick what some of the things we got. The first one is, you'll notice on the front, does have a little solar panel. Now, it's going to take a while if you try and charge the battery on this thing all the way. It's a 2,000 milliamp hour battery that's built in, uh, but, I mean, can keep it topped off. Something's better than nothing. you also got the hand crank works like so. Now on the bottom there's a switch. I'm going to put that switch on charging right there and it's got a little uh, little zap with the device there and then you can choose lithium ion or or uh, AAA. It takes two AAA batteries here in the bottom. You can see that in the picture but if I just do that when you're cranking you'll see a red light that comes on. You can feel a decent amount of resistance which is going to be part of the induction and things that are going on there so you would expect that and uh, I've already cranked it quite a bit earlier today. Uh, and then you've got a light on the top there, like so. You've also got a port on the bottom here where you can uh, hook headphones up if you want to listen to the radio without wasting uh, a lot of power through the speaker. It's got the USB charging port, and it also has a larger USB uh, to charge the device, the internal battery. It's also got a larger USB so you can charge your phone with it. So uh, 2,000 milliamp hours is going to uh, do a pretty decent job of giving you enough juice to do what you need to do with your phone. And you can use the hand crank to charge it up the rest of the way. Uh, depending on the phone you have, uh, it's probably not going to charge it 100%, but it's going to help you out quite a bit. And uh, that's pretty much what you need. You can also pull out the uh, radio antenna here. And on the top, one of the things that is an upgrade on this, it's digital, has a digital tuner. So you know exactly what station you're on. You don't have to fill around trying to keep from twisting past it. That is uh, one of the nicer upgrades of this one. It also has a spot for a clock. <laughs> All this, and we even had room to put a clock on there. So it is an LCD digital display clock. And then uh, it has the radio. You can choose the bands of AM, FM, or NOAA, or weather band, basically. So I'm going to turn it on. And it has a seek feature. If you hold the button down, it will actually seek and go to the next available station. And where I live, you can see we get a lot of Spanish channels. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Uh, volume is not a knob. You can see that's actually pretty good. It has a little built-in light there on the top, so you can see the LCD even in the dark. So uh, if you're uh, into emergency preparedness, you want your family to be prepared, and uh, you want to have ability to have communication and hear what's going on with the world around you, plus have the option of, uh, of, of hand cranking or charging stuff, this is actually a, a good device for all of those things. It has a nice feel to it. It's a svelte kind of thin silicone uh, layer over top of it, so it feels like you got a grip when you hold it. You can see it tapers a little bit too, which is a new feature of this one compared to the old one. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So uh, pretty fabulous little device. I uh, highly recommend it if you're looking, if you're into preparedness type thing. It's a good value for the price. You'll see some other ones that cost a lot more that aren't quite as nice. Uh, if you're interested in uh, slightly different features, you can check out the other running snail uh, uh, radio that's out there. It's green and you'll see that on my profile as well. But for the most part, uh, I would recommend this for emergency preparedness to have in your have in your pack, your bug out bag, something along those lines to give you not only charging capability, but communication with the outside world and light. So if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'll get to those as soon as I can. Other than that, I hope you have a great day. This is Interviewer Jones, out.